how to use text split function in excel the text split function in excel splits text strings by using column and row delimiters the syntax of text split function is equal to text split text column delimiter row delimiter ignore empty match mode and pad width in the first example we have a text in the cell a2 which we are going to split into g h and i2 based on comma delimiter so the formula will be equal to text split the first argument is the text which you want to split so select the text comma column delimiter it is the delimiter based on which you want to split across the multiple columns so in this case we have column delimiter as comma so type comma with double quote and close the bracket and enter let's go to the next example in this example we have text in cell a2 so which we are going to split into rows instead of columns so the formula will be equal to text split select your text type comma again comma for the ignoring the column delimiter the next argument is row delimiter it is the delimiter based on which you want to split into multiple rows so here also we have comma so double quote comma since we have extra space you can include the space as well in the double quote and close the bracket and enter let's go to the next example in which i have a text in cell a2 which i am going to split into rows as well as columns the formula will be equal to text split select your text for the column delimiter i am going to use as a hyphen in the double quote write hyphen then comma the row delimiter we are going to use as a comma so in the double quote type comma with space and close the bracket and enter so you can see here there is extra space so this extra space we'll learn in the next couple of examples how to fix all the space let's go to the example 4 in which i have multiple delimiters you can see here we have comma colon equal and space so what will be the formula to get the result as shown in the column e the formula will be equal to text split select your text comma we are not going to split into columns so type comma to ignore the column delimiter in the row delimiter so we have multiple delimiters so in that case type the multiple delimiters with brackets so here first delimiter is comma then the next delimiter is colon double quote colon again comma the next delimiter is equal and space equal with space and close the bracket again close the normal bracket for the text fleet and enter let's go to the next example in which i have delimiter comma but we have multiple times only one comma here two comma here three comma so if you are going to split based on the one comma then let's see what will be the result and how we can fix with next argument so the normal formula will be equal to text split select your text comma column delimiter is comma here so double quote comma and close the bracket the first formula will give the output for first result as perfectly fine but in case we copy the formula down then you can see here we have a additional spaces because we have additional comma here makes your additional columns so how we can fix that to fix that we have the next argument called ignore empty so let's go to the formula and edit so here we have the next argument as row delimiter which we are going to exclude so type comma to exclude the so next argument is ignore empty true or one to ignore empty cells false or zero to include empty cells so by default it will be false so let's type one or true or double click on this true and click enter then copy the formula down and let's see the result now it is perfectly fine let's go to the next example so in this example we have a small x as well as capital x so if you are going to use the normal formula what will be the result and we'll understand with how to fix it so let's use the text split function equal to text split select your text comma your column delimiter is x so type with x then your row delimiter is comma type with double quote comma and close the bracket now here you have capital x because of that you are getting error so how we can fix that error and how we can fix this additional spaces as well to fix this error let's go to the formula in this formula let's type comma so here we are going to ignore empty cells then comma the next argument is match mode 0 for case sensitive match 1 for case insensitive match 
by default it will be 0 because of which it is taking only small x. Now we are going to use as 1 so it will ignore uppercase and it will give the result. So now since we have additional spaces here so fix that let's use the formula called trim and go to the end and close the bracket and enter. Let's go to the next example since for by you don't have any result it is showing as any error. So in case of any error either you want hyphen or you want any text for example not available. So how we can do that. Now the next argument called pad width. So the pad width by default gives the any error for missing values and you can specify any value to replace the any error. So in this case we are going to replace with hyphen to type with double quote and enter. So in case instead of hyphen you want any other output you can specify for example not available and enter. So it will give the result as not available. If you like the video please hit like button and let us know if you have any questions in the comment section below. And please do subscribe for more formulas and functions.